Hi guys, um, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to do a product review um, and that is Saffron. Um, before I start, I'm just going to give you guys some information um, about Saffron. Um, saffron is the most expensive spice in the world and it has a lot of health benefits. Um, and the reason it's so expensive is that um, it requires a lot of time and effort um, from the growers or the people or the pickers um, because um, every every saffron flower has like three little red stigmas and uh, they are hand picked and dried in the sun and um, to get one kilo of this stuff uh, I think you need like 70,000 flowers saffron flowers so um, that is a lot and um, that's why it's so uh, expensive and saffron is uh, mainly grown in um, Iran and um, um, this one I purchased in Australia and uh, I have been using this for about um, three months. I started in August, more than three months. Um, I do uh, notice uh, do some changes um, to my health. And first of all, it's my mood swings. I had a baby 18 months ago, or 19 months to be correct. Um, and uh, as you know, you know, I'm a first time parent and uh, um, with a little one, you know, I get really, really tired and, you know, I'm not getting uh, much sleep and I'm always tired and grumpy and, um, you know, always um, lifeless. Um, but since I started taking saffron, I have noticed a bit of a change. Uh, it's only been a short time, so I can't say that uh, it's brilliant or, you know, um, but I can tell you that uh, I sort of sleep better. Um, and because I've got a little one, she wakes me up every night. So, um, but it does help you fall asleep um, and it does help you relax uh, and, you know, wind down, calm, calm your mind down. Um, especially if you if you take it with a little bit of warm milk so uh, what i normally do is i just um grind it um i put in this little uh modern pestle i grind it down and you only need um about three or four strands of it and um i don't um normally um take it with milk in the morning but i put it in water but i i used to because before i didn't know i used to um just put the whole uh, you know strands of saffron in the water and let it you know infuse in there um, for like half an hour or so before I drank it uh, but now um, I've read somewhere on the internet that um, the correct way um, to take saffron is um, to grind it down uh, into like a powder uh, and then you put it in water and um, yeah, I do, I do this uh, every morning. So I, I take about um, five, six strands or um, sometimes seven or eight, but I never, ta I never take more than uh, 10 um, strands a day, apparently, like uh, that's the limit or something. But taking a lot of it is not good either. So take the correct amount. It has uh, cancer prevention properties in it and it has pro properties that um, are supposed to be uh, good for your complexion to help you, your, your skin look um, nice and healthy and give you that glow, lighten your skin a little bit. I'm not sure if it's doing anything to my skin. Uh, I've been taking it for three months, so I, I do have a good uh, feeling about it, um, that it's going to do something good um, for my health. Oh, another thing, uh, if you've got like a postnatal depression or anything like that, anxiety or anything like that, um, it's also good for that. So just give it a try and see how you go. Just one glass a day. Um, and another thing I've noticed is that... Um, I don't feel, I used to feel um, dizzy all the time and, uh, um, you know, I had to take tablets for that. Um, but, yeah, ever since I started taking saffron, I don't feel um, that dizzy anymore. Unless I get on a treadmill or um, a merry-go-round or something like that because uh, I just can't handle those things. I don't know why. It must be the motion of it or... Um, yeah, it's just, so if I get on something that, that spins, I have to get off straight away it's because if I stay on, I'll just go in. So, um, yeah, 
so uh, a few changes, good changes. So um, uh, that's a good sign. Um, you can also use it for uh, like cooking and stuff like that. But uh, um, I don't really uh, know how to cook with saffron, to be honest. Uh, but apparently you can put it in your, uh, or when you cook rice or when you cook, um, you know, paella, um, like rice dishes and stuff like that, or even other stuff. But tr traditionally, uh, a long time ago, uh, this stuff was used for uh, like dyeing uh, clothes and stuff like that. Like on the internet, um, if you search the word saffron, uh, it will give you a lot of uh, information about it. Um, but if you don't try it yourself and experience it for yourself, you won't know. But so far, so good. But I'll keep taking it for a bit longer and see how I go. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated as well. Um, but for now, it's a thumbs up. So if you guys have any questions, just um, comment below. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.